Hey boo, hey cute stuff. Welcome to another message here with me, Duchess. So we're going to find out what you need to know in here right now. This is a general collective, baby. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't behind. And yes, know that this is in fact timeless, boo. So whenever you run into it, it should be messages for you. Let's see what the deal is, what you need to know. Spirit, give us insight here for the collective, what needs to come out, what needs to come out. We got here yearning. Okay, wait a minute. Here we go again, baby. Here we go again. What do we need to know here, spirit? We got here the return of Aphrodite. Okay, give us more. Give us more. We got here endurance. Okay, uh-huh. We got here falling in love so there's somebody that's wanting to fall in love with you and it's like they want to be oh my goodness friends and lovers okay lovers and friends whoever this person is now we're gonna find out hopefully it's somebody new because i've been sick of these past exes popping in and and always trying to pop up but we're gonna find out here but this could possibly be somebody new because it's not really giving shady energy it's not really giving negative energy or if it's an ex it's not a shady ex you get what i'm saying it's not the little narc ex that came out yesterday we don't got time for that person we sick of them okay but look so what's being said is there's somebody that is desiring you and yearning for you right now okay this is someone that's pining for you yearning for your energy desiring you but this is because this person sees you in your empress or your emperor energy your goddess or your godlike energy like they see you shining okay they see you doing the damn thing they see you living your life they see you maybe having fun because we got the dolphins here okay maybe see you being playful maybe seeing you looking amazing beautiful or handsome okay strong or fit or a sexy or voluptuous or a thick whatever okay whatever it is they like okay something here where Somebody is seeing you as truly sacred and they're yearning for something sacred. And this person here wants something long term. We got the endurance and we got the falling in love card. OK, so this is somebody here that wants to have a long term loving connection or loving union here with you. OK, yes, they feel like you represent true love. You represent everything that they wish for. See, this person wants to build something here with the homeland. They want to get established with you. They want to build something. And it's saying here that this person wants to be both friends and lovers, baby. We got the divine sensuality. So I like this energy, okay? We're going to check and see who this is. Uh, hopefully, it's somebody fresh and good. But it's saying here that this person wants to be your ally. They want to be your best friend, okay? They want to be loyal to you. They want to enjoy life with you, okay? But at the same time, they want to make love to you and, 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 and enjoy those intimate moments with you. So I feel like... Whoever this person is, they want the best of all worlds here with you. Okay, tell us more here about this person that's yearning here to have a long-term union and love. They want to be lovers and friends. What's going on here? What's going on here, Spirit? Give us insight. What's going on? We got here reinvention. Yeah, see... I feel like this person could see you reinventing yourself. It could be someone that wants to reinvent the connection if this is someone that you know, okay, depending on the circumstances here. But this person sees a lot of growth in you and they want to grow with you. There's something here about the way you're moving, the way you're expressing yourself, something about your energy here that's really calling this person in yeah but they're saying that it's not even just about the physical it's all about the internal too there's something that's glowing about you all around so this person again it's not just about the physical see i like this person's here okay this is this is this good energy but they also want to get to your inner energy your, your inner beauty they they want to love you for who you truly are and so that's where this lovers and friends energy is 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 radiating okay we're gonna find out more information spirit tell us more here about this person that feels the collective is radiating wanting some sort of long-term union i'm seeing like some skipping around 
See, this person here, this person here admires your strength a lot. They admire what you represent. There's something here where it's like you inspire them to elevate or to do better or to be stronger. To have more willpower is what I'm hearing. The will to make things work. We got to seek the counsel of crystals. And love who you are. See, this person here is trying to ground their energy so that they can feel more confident, more self-assured, more loving of themselves. Because they see you with all this emperor, empress energy, this goddess, godlike energy. And this person feels a little bit inadequate. Okay, so they're trying to, like, I guess, ground that energy. Yeah, they're trying to ground that energy. Okay, they're trying to stabilize that energy. They're trying to realize that they do deserve somebody as amazing as you. Because, I mean, if they send it back yearning, it doesn't look like this person is actually taking action. It looks like they're watching you and thinking about what it would be like to have a beautiful, long-term, loving connection with you. To build with you. To be lovers and friends with you. Like, this person definitely is deep in thought about this connection here. Okay, so we're giving some insight here. How does the collective know this person here? How do they know this person? Okay, this card is... See, we got an Eight of Cups. Hmm. This could be someone that travels. It could be someone that you don't notice because your back is turned to them like it's happening behind your back. Hmm, tell us more here. Who is this person? We got a three of wands, but again, this person is planning for something long term. See, yeah, see, for the long term, they want this two of cups with you. Let me ask this. Okay, is this somebody new or is this somebody that they know? Is this somebody new or somebody that they know? What is this? Is this, who is this? See, this is somebody that's taking some time to reflect. Hmm. Either way, I, I mean, you definitely know this person. I don't feel like it's a secret admirer, okay? Now, it don't necessarily have to be a connection. It could be somebody new that you've been talking to or dealing with, or maybe there's been a little break period. Like I said, I really don't feel this is an extremely toxic individual because nothing is coming out toxic like it has been with the other readings. But this feels like it's somebody that's not toxic, but you know them, but they're taking some time to reflect, but they're also feeling insecure and also feeling not good enough but also trying to find a way to feel good enough? Yes, for Ace of Cups to give you an offering. Okay, so this person wants to come in with this romantic offering, this emotional offering, this, this loving offering here, but they're also trying to get the guts, okay? They're trying to convince themselves. What is this person afraid of? What are they waiting on? Tell us more here. We got here the King of Wands energy. We got here the Nine of Cups. Mm, I see what this is going to say. Ten of Wands. Okay. So the problem here is that this person actually wants this connection so bad, they're idolizing it in their head. They're putting it on a pedestal. They want the connection so bad that they're scaring themselves. Okay. They're stressing themselves out by the more that they are fiery to have this connection, having these fantasies, wanting this. And it becomes more of a wish fulfillment. They're attached to the wish fulfillment. I see what this is because I had to learn about detachment. I know this feeling, okay? This person is attached to the outcome. Therefore, now it's making it a struggle for them. If they see it as, you know what? I really want to give this a try with the collective and whatever happens, happens. Then things will move forward much quicker. But this person wants everything to be in an ideal situation. They, they, they really have this kind of ideal viewpoint of what things should be, how it should be. And if it doesn't go that way, this person would feel some sort of despair, distress, struggle. Okay. It would feel like a heavy burden on their back. So there's something here that makes them avoid moving forward right away because of this fear of rejection ultimately is what it is. Fearing that you might not want the same things. And if you don't want the same things, then they're going to be pressed. So they're just rather keep overthinking until they figure out that you definitely want the same things, but how can they figure it out just from watching you? Like that doesn't make sense. Okay. Tell us more here. 
what's going on is this person gonna eventually make some moves here what's going on is they gonna eventually make some moves temperance so that means yes they're gonna make some moves at some point but it seems like okay this this is what i'm getting here look at this you can see the temperance here there's all these little balls and there's one big ball so i feel like rather than this person keep making little small moves they're gonna make one big move at some point you know what i'm saying like you're probably expecting another set of like little small moves but they end up making some sort of big move maybe they want to automatically skip to the endurance part i don't know what's going on tell us more here yeah of the offering okay so again the offering so the person is going to come towards the off come with you towards an offering but they're also trying to make some sort of big move but it's also almost like it's because they want to guarantee the win now, I don't know if this move is going to guarantee the win. Okay, only you going to know that as this occurs. But this person definitely wants to get back into your energy. Yeah, and express some emotions. Express some love. Um, this person is very slow moving, but they're solid because we got the Knight of Pentacles. This used to be my most hated night because I'm not the most patient person and I hate slow moving things. But this is actually the best night when it comes to any types of love and connection, okay? Because this person is going to be moving slow and stable and trying to create some sort of solid foundation when it comes to these emotions. Now, if this would have been a Knight of Cups, no, it would have been flighty, okay? not a wand not a sword all flighty baby but here it's like this person is actually thinking about trying to create some sort of solid energy here so therefore they're taking their time okay does this person believe that if they continue to take their time that the collective is going to agree or accept this offer they're scared of being defeated so they do feel like okay this time helps them overcome their fears and have hope okay this time helps them overcome their fears and have hope so energetically this person just has to go through this they can't just rush through you because they're rushed towards you because there's a lot of internal conflict or they think there could be battles here they want they are going to overcome it we got all the aces out here but they need to overcome this fear and this hold back and we know the eight of swords is a mental prison so this person's put themselves in a mental prison with all this stress and overthinking possibly wondering if you have another option because we got this third the third of pentacles maybe wondering well do you got somebody already is there another option like this person needs to get hope again and stop overthinking and stop over stressing but ultimately they are going to come towards you here because they're going to end up feeling left out in the cold or feeling like they may end up missing the opportunity or they have to speak up i'm getting like speak up or forever hold your peace it's giving me that vibe here with this person you get what i'm saying so something is a little uh, but at the same time this person definitely heavily plotting okay i would say heavily plotting towards you lovers friends long-term union it, all of that but they are also taking their time and gathering their confidence to do this because it seems like you're glowing so much that they're shocked okay they're like shell shocked or almost like you know if you meet a celebrity i don't know what that's called but yeah it's like that type of like ah. so they need time to work through that and be like okay i'm calm now let's let's do this and let's make this happen let's see what the hell happens all right if you haven't booked a reading with me, then what the hell are you waiting for? The link is below. Also, come hang out with me in my group coaching community where there's exclusive content and all kinds of other goodies. I'm going to talk to you later, boo. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, send in love, light, and blessings. Bye.